Welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. And we offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate it if you purchase your next watch from us at Jazztime.com. Today we'll be doing an unboxing and review of the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Automatic with a blue dial, titanium body, and fabric strap, reference number 5015-12B40052A. That's a letter O. All right, so this is the box. It is actually really big. I'm zoomed all the way out as far as I can go on my camera, and it's still just filling my entire light box. So without further ado, let's get this thing open. All right, it's got quite a pelican case, actually with that full pressurized lock there. All right. And it comes in with that nice foam padding. And the watch itself is right in the center here, in a very similar to a, a Breitling case that we've seen before. All right, and there's the watch. All right. But first, let's check to see if we have any papers here. Let's see, there's nothing else inside this case, but I did notice that we do have a little step underneath it. So, we can set this off to the side here. And, ah, there we go. Got some papers here. All right, and there we have the warranty card, the technical specs, a microfiber cloth, a 50 fathoms log book. So, when you go diving with this, you can definitely keep track of all of your dives. Right, and the final portion here is the instructions. But we'll be going over how to use this watch and all of its details, so that's not really too big of a deal. I'm not going to read you this entire bedtime story, but that is how this whole thing is packaged. Certainly, they are certainly serious about having this be a diver's watch. So, we'll take this. We'll close this up and I'll put it off to the side here because the main event is right here in this tiny little pouch here. But certainly not a tiny watch when it comes to its history. Well, first, we can zoom in a bit on here. There's a very light plastic sleeve on this. All right, and a sticker here because we want to be able to see this dial cleanly and nicely. All right, and there we go. So, Blanc Pong, 50 fathoms with a blue dial, titanium body. All right, and there's some plastic wrap on this, um, on this pin buckle here. We can open that up as well to reveal that nice scripty font up on that buckle as well. All right, and that should be all of it. Now, on to the review. This is a 50 Fathoms. It began as the very first modern dive watch to be commercially available, distinct from, say, Panerai models that were uh, originally for, say, the Italian Navy or Rolex Deep Sea in its first form with a, like a hemisphere of a crystal. Uh, the Blancpain actually has remained very much in this form, largely untouched in terms of design, and that's what makes it the first commercially available modern dive watch. It was featured on the likes of Jacques Cousteau in The Silent World in 1956 and was even used by the US Navy SEAL teams. And we'll be going over the case, bezel, dial, crown, movement, and the strap, and I'll be giving you my thoughts on these as we touch on them throughout the video. While this particular watch is within the 50 Fathoms line, I'll dispel this here immediately, right on the dial. It says, you know, 300 meters or 1,000 feet below sea level, and that is, you know, it's certainly to match the modern diver's watch specific specifications, but actually that isn't literally 50 fathoms. It's actually over 150 fathoms, just slightly over, and this timepiece has a water resistance at just over three times its namesake, so you can be sure that this will remain water resistant to the equivalence of, say, a Rolex Submariner or a Panerai submersible. All right, now the case measures 45 millimeters in diameter, that's from finger to thumb. All right, 15 millimeters thick and 23 millimeters 
with a lug width made entirely out of titanium, brushed on just about every conceivable surface that you can see here. Nice rounded edges there with very discreet, discreet D-I-S-C-R-E-T-E, -E, very obvious sublime uh, lugs right there, yet tasteful. All right brush on every conceivable surface so it, it sort of blends in you know by diffusing light better and not having uh, specular reflections as much and as a diver's watch this certainly has a good feature to have if you don't want to attract unwanted attention from say you know sea life the titanium construction also makes a very very light watch so you don't have to worry about expending extra energy to move your arm as you swim to the deeper depths of the ocean uh, this bezel is a unidirectional rotatable bezel a bit loud but somewhat muffled and a bit muted all right you can hear that right quite an interesting sound but it sounds very refined for what this is uh, it's a unidirectional rotatable bezel zero marker for the diving scale so you can measure decompression stops accurately the unidirectional movement allows you to potentially uh, overestimate, if anything, your decompression stops, or rather underestimate, so that you, you don't spend extra time in the water. It's a lot safer in that way. So, for most of us landlocked humans, however, you know, the diving scale provides a, mo a bit more useful features. You can simply set it to match, say, your second hand, you know, and there you go, you have a minute timer or you can set it to your minute hand, and there you have an hour timer. Or you can set it to your hour hand, and you have a 12 hour timer, all right? And so the, the five sub measurements help can make the timing easier to read with the 15, 30, and 45 denoted in Arabic numerals, and the rest as basic index markers to keep a clean presentation. And as a side note, the entire insert is a deep royal blue matching that of the dial of the model, so you have only the best in contrast when it comes to reading the dial and measuring the time on the bezel. The crystal is a scratch-resistant sapphire. It's a bit domed on the top, as you can see there but flat on the back, so you can see the movement through the back of the case there. Very nice touch there. All right, and the dial on this model is, you know, to say the least, bold and direct to the point. Bold Arabic numerals for the 12, 3, 6, and 9 with isosceles, tr isosceles triangles for the rest of the hour marks. Tiny indices on the very edge to measure seconds and minutes, as you can see there, if I can get the light to catch it just right. All right. And with the date window at the 4.30 and obelisk style hands also filled with luminescence for easy reading in the dark. And we can turn out the lights here and you can then see that you know, it's all lit up. The bezel, the diving scale especially, that's very important for deep diving. All of the numbers, the index markers, everything is lit up for extremely clear reading in any low light situation, especially underwater. Note that the backdrop for all of this information is that blue sun ray brushed pattern in the center encircling the hour hands path, while the minute and second hands paths are encircled by a brushed concentric pattern that reflects light that sort of opposes that of the center sun ray. It's a very good design choice here. It gives it a very balanced presentation in terms of how the light plays on this dial. It's very, very unique, very interesting, and certainly holds the attention very, very well. All right, and while we're here, we can also talk about how the crown works. Simply unwind it, and note that this watch is at a complete stop. So simply winding it several times, you can get it started, started again. Now, according to the manual, it does take about 40 full turns to get it started from a dead stop, but it seems to be less than that as the second hand has actually started moving. All right, you can pull out to the next position and you can then advance the date by rotating it counterclockwise. It's about uh, a little bit between a quarter and a half turn to advance it by one. So it's not really that hard, but note that how this crown feels, it's very Big, it has that really, really good grip on the sides there, so there's no problem.
turning this and if you need to advance it you know say to the first of march from a february leap year there's no issue with that all right and pulling it out to the final position hacks the seconds hand so it stops and then you can then adjust the minute hand to whatever position you like for precise timekeeping press it back in to screw it back in and maintain that superior water resistance down to 300 meters or 1,000 feet under water. Excellent. All right, so what makes all of this work together is the 1315, actually, let me reset that diving scale. It's probably bugging you as much as it's bugging me. Okay, so what makes all of this work together is the 1315 caliber movement made in a house by Blanc Pond, a diameter of 30.6 millimeters or 13 lines, 5.65 millimeters thick with 35 joules totaling to 227 components be uh, beating at a frequency of 28,800 vibrations per hour or 4 hertz while giving you the wear up to an impressive 120 hours of power reserve. It hosts the ability to have the center mounted hour minute and seconds hands with the quick set date as I had just demonstrated. The caliber also contains a silicon balance spring so you have all the temperature resistance you could need for its entire lifetime. You can take this watch to the sun and back both in the cold emptiness of space and the hot hot surface of the sun. Well actually that's not really what it's made for. It's made for diving to the depths through the depths of the ocean. So you can probably take it to some volcanic currents maybe well, that's still pretty dangerous, don't do that. We love you very much here, and we would love to see you come back in one piece. Speaking of pieces, the final piece that brings all of this together is this tightly woven fabric strap, reflective nature to match the bezel that matches the dial. All of this working together to make a cohesive package that I've personally found difficult to, you know, even conceive taking off of my wrist. Zooming out a bit more so you can see this entire thing. It has that very dark blue uh, stitching to match. Well, it doesn't match exactly, but it complements very well. And matching underneath there. All right. And it has on the very end this titanium pin buckle. Again, with that scripted font, makes it very elegant, very nice, and beautiful looking. All right, and while we're here, we can, I'll try it on my wrist, which is about a standard 7.25, 7.5 inch circumference wrist. So we can try it on here, get it sized nicely. And I can give you some of my thoughts on how this feels, how it looks. All right, so at, you know, at its diameter, and considering that the bezel is actually a larger than that of the case. It's, it's very easy to grip because, well, it's made for diving. Why would you make your bezel smaller than the case? You'd need this because it is an instrument. It is an important instrument for diving, especially when you're going, you know, where it's dark and you can't really see. You can, you at least have that, that tactile feedback of being able to just grab that bezel first. And that's a very good design choice here. I really enjoy that about this watch and even though the the uh, the grip here isn't actually too deep what matters is that it exceeds the dimensions of the watch case itself again very important very very useful all right and when it comes to the size of this it's actually not too bad because of the the way that the lugs work with the strap i do get plenty of strap to frame the, the case and the dial. So it's actually quite a nice size and at a titanium construction, extremely light. And even though, you know, this is obviously a diver's watch, it needs to be thick. So, you know, under a jacket sleeve, not an issue, but certainly not a dress watch by any means. Although it does have that excellent dressy presentation. So if you wear your sleeves, your suit sleeves a little bit looser, you can get away with wearing this you know, because there's, the, the dial isn't too clouded up with too many, you know, sub dials or anything. It's a very, I wouldn't say plain, but it's a very elegant presentation. So, wearing this to a next meeting? Yes, please. I, I would love to see this at any sort of meeting or, you know, any sort of gathering because this is an exceptional watch right here. Blanc Pan, very excellent very excellent presentation and it feels just so good on the hands. The, uh, the titanium construction again makes the weight distribution right in, the, right in the center of your wrist. You can barely even notice that it's there. So, you know, enough of what I think. 
What do you think about this watch? Leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think about this watch. Would you be picking one up? And you know, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out our channel quite a lot. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Click that bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this or any other watch, be sure to visit us at jazztime.com. Links in the description below. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.